I am Robert Stevenson and live in New Hampshire where I pursue my avocation of studying the non-science side of Antarctica. I have a very large polar library that has been built up over close to 40 years. Certainly my greatest gem is a copy of the Aurora Australis, a book produced in the Antarctic during Sir Ernest Shackleton's Nimrod expedition of 1907-09. I have had the pleasure a number of times to visit Dulwich College and to dine beside the legendary James Caird. I have also had the pleasure of inspecting the college's copy of the Aurora, which resides in the archives, first about 20 years ago and more recently in 2011. Sir Ernest H. Shackleton was one of Dulwich College's better-known old boys. He is perhaps most famous for his leadership during the ill-fated endurance expedition. He is less known for his involvement in possibly the most amazing publishing project ever, the writing, editing, illustrating, printing, binding, and issuing of the first book in the Antarctic, the Aurora Australis. Expedition publications were common efforts on British polar expeditions, a good way to pass the time during the cold, dark, and icy winters. But typically, only a single copy was produced, and it passed around from man to man. Only once home after an expedition were facsimile editions printed up, In Shackleton's case, he arranged for the expedition to take two presses, printing and lithographic, type, paper, ink, and binding leather to Cape Royds, Antarctica, the site of the expedition's 663-square-foot hut. Before leaving England, he sent Frank Wilde and Ernest Joyce off to printing school. They would handle the letterpress printing of the Aurora, while the expedition artist, George Marston, was responsible for the lithographs and engravings. Bernard Day, the motor engineer, fashioned the boards and did the binding. Conditions in the hut were unlike any bookmakers had encountered before. Cold sometimes to the freezing point, the ink had to be kept fluid by a candle. Dirt, noise, poor lighting, and cramped conditions. There were 15 in the hut. But they succeeded in turning out somewhere around 80 or so copies during the winter months of 1908. As the copies were bound in wood from the expedition's packing cases, each one is unique and generally identified today by the stenciling. For instance, the butter or veal copies. Dulwich's copy is Petit Pois. The contents consisted of submissions by Shackleton and other members of the shore party, poems, pastiches, fantasies, and observations on life in the Antarctic. Shackleton was a clever fundraiser, and he presented with suitable inscriptions a good number of the copies to his benefactors, or would-be benefactors. The majority of copies today are to be found in libraries and other public collections throughout the world. Occasionally a copy will find its way to the auction room, where invariably the price will be extraordinarily high. What about the copy that resides in the Dulwich archives? You might think that Shackleton presented it to his old school, but not so. The Dulwich copy was given by Shackleton to Rudyard Kipling in 1914. His presentation inscription is on the title page, along with Frank Wiles. Kipling's bookplate, featuring an elephant, is affixed to the inside front board. With the copy is a letter from Elsie Bambridge, dated June 1942, which reads, This book was given to my father, the late Mr. Rudyard Kipling, by Sir Ernest Shackleton on his return from his Antarctic expedition in 1908. The letter has no addressee and says nothing about the book being a gift to the college or even coming from Kipling's daughter. Oddly enough, what appears to be the same copy was purchased for £32 at a Sotheby's sale on October 13, 1942 by Mags, the London booksellers. The description in the auction catalog fits the Dulwich copy to a T. Jan Piggott, the former college archivist, said in an email that, I always assumed the Aurora came from John Quilla Rowett with the Caird in 1922, but the book came from Sir Robert Layton, 1884-1959, of the bookbinding firm. His obituary mentions this gift but it seems that the provenance is probably Shackleton to Kipling in 1914, 
Kipling family or later owners to Mags at the Sotheby's sale in 1942, Mags or a later owner to Sir Robert Layton at some unknown date, and finally to Dulwich again at some unknown date. The chain of ownership and the Kipling Association aside, what's interesting about the copy? There is stenciling on both inner boards. Some copies only have stenciling on one board and a handful have none at all. The upper uh, reads British Antarctic Expedition 1907 and the lower reads Petit Pois, the only copy known with this stencil. The title page is unaccountably uncolored, which is quite rare. There is only one other instance of this. The Aurora Australis is the ultimate example of Antarctica and Dulwich College is fortunate to have a copy.